Welcome back. Let's play some 10 minute games on Shogi Wars. Sorry, I forgot to load this. So right before uh, we started playing today, I reviewed my games from previous days. And that helps me get a better sense of what key ideas I'm missing, as well as what tactics, but the key ideas tend to crop up again and again and again. And sure, there are proverbs, but they don't cover everything. Good luck. So, uh, since there are proverbs... Um, oh, I'm sorry. Even though there are proverbs, you need to find something that works for you. Now, I saw our opponent favors Temple Lost Bishop Exchange, so I'm just going to say no. We're going to try a different strategy today. It's interesting how the website shows you like what opening your tendon, your opponent tends to prefer. Um, because this allows me to like play measures that I wouldn't necessarily play every game. Okay, <laughs> got one of these going on. This will be fun. Oh, Elmo Castle. That is a legitimate castle shape. Okay, I'm thoroughly confused. My opponent hasn't done anything super aggressive. That's fine. I am all on board with my opponent not threatening me. Um, okay, let's just proceed forward and make it very uncomfortable for their king. Um, I don't understand this opening. Let's get my king away from this rook. Okay. The silver is on an expedition. Silver is pinned to a bishop, but the bishop is defended. Uh, perhaps the opponent wants to reinforce this attack somehow. Though I don't see how. I guess they are preventing me from pushing this pawn. Um, interesting. Wait, I don't like the silver being here. Okay. Yeah, that's... I mean, that's an opening. Alright, I don't want to concede this pawn for nothing. Um, perhaps I've walked into something? And perhaps whatever I've walked into is dangerous? I don't know. But it feels like I get an attack from this, too. So we'll take whatever initiative we get. Um, it's probably a negative initiative. I've probably walked into something horrible, but uh, we'll deal with it. All right, so I'm going to trap the silver unless something changes. This is dangerous, but I'm curious, so let's do it. Mm-hmm. All right, so I move my bishop to safety. I'm still attacking a silver. This bishop is attacking my lance. I am playing with fire, but that's how I roll, so... Uh, let's see. Now, they're threatening a lance drop right here. They're also threatening a lance drop over here. 
if I bring my knight out, maybe I don't die. Maybe. Uh, if I bring the knight out, they might drop the lance here instead. Nanafun. I don't know. Actually, if they drop it... Yeah, if I bring the knight out, I trap my bishop. Um... If I move the silver, then they can take this knight and threaten another lance drop. Uh, it's a mess, isn't it? How do I do something positive out of all of this? Maybe losing the bishop for a lance isn't the worst thing ever. Um, it looks sad. If I bring the bishop back, we exchange bishops, they can take this pawn. With my bishop in hand, I can't really do anything. Um... Oh, I see. Here, I should take this. They drop a lance, I exchange a pawn, and then can drop the pawn in front of the rook. Thereby averting severe material loss. All right, so I've got a lance and a silver. They have three pawns and a horse. And a horse could be a useful piece to defend a king, but they probably have to do something about... If I can attack on this file, they don't want to allow it. Um, That's a move. All right, I defend my rook. Now I'm threatening a lance drop and a silver drop and a capture here. Okay. Knight takes, I assume, is too dangerous. Let's do the obvious thing. Maybe the less obvious would have been a lance drop here and a silver drop there. Um. Go from. Okay. Interesting. I don't know where this is going. I don't want to give the lance back. Because uh, then my rook runs all over the board. But I might uh, get stuck having to give the lance back very quickly here. Oh, that's not beautiful at all. Um, I don't have much of a choice here. But, no. All right, let's repeat this position. I debated moving the rook over, but that seems dangerous too, as does everything. Ah, welcome. Anyone Dojo asks, how do you practice tactics? Well, you make mistakes and then you try not to make them again. Um, well, there's probably some decent way to study them. Um. 
Okay, I don't want to give the opponent a silver here. Unless it somehow profits me to do that. Uh, what a mess. Yeah, no, giving a silver Something. unnecessarily would be dangerous. Um, hmm. All right, there goes nothing. Oh yeah, Lee Shogi's Tactics Trainer is good fun. Play Shogi is good for practicing checkmates. Um, But really, you should just play like 10,000 games of Bug House. And once you understand how Bug House works, hopefully you have some idea of how tactics work. My everything is hanging. <laughs> That's fine. We're not using my everything anyway. But no, the king here is super vulnerable. So... Yeah. I'm just throwing everything at it. Maybe I should have reinforced this with a pawn first. We'll see. Um... So I removed one defender of the square. Such a mess. Ippun. Nope. Hmm. Maybe. Alright, I just... I can't figure this out. My opponent is quite good. Every drop I can consider does not work here. Pushing this pawn might have been the key move. It's too much. Sanjubyo.
Maybe that wasn't right. That was stupid. Should not have done that. No, that fails. Valiant effort, but no. Thanks for the game. Zikangire. Let's see, what have I missed? Yeah, Shogi Quest sounds cool. I still haven't been able to log in yet. I just played the 9x9 board. Um, yeah, I so said thanks for the game. So, many people, good luck in our Western community, find other board sizes of interest. I think the 9x9 board is immensely difficult already. I don't really understand what this excitement about larger boards is about, but maybe it's because I just haven't tried it yet. Um, what the heck? Let's go for it. This looks safe, right? Uh, but yeah, I've played chess for many years. I've played other chess variants. Um, and then, um, as a chess master was introduced, or reintroduced to this wonderful game, I started to get acquainted with it, or reacquainted with it as well. Taking the rook is not great here. It feels nice, but it doesn't do anything. That said, what else is my bishop going to do here? In the opening, a bishop can be much 
just as useful as a rook. Um, so yeah, this tactic doesn't work. I'm just going to keep my bishop. Also, I'm going to pin my rook just for added excitement. Um, so yeah, it takes me some time to get my king out to safety, and to do that, I guess I'm offering my rook for a bishop. Even though I can get a rook for a bishop too if I want it. Alright, so I can defend this point, they take the other point. Well, that's interesting. Is it? Maybe? Um. Hmm. I'm not sure how this works. I want my king to be safe. I don't so much care about the other part of the board. So they've got two pawns and a horse. That's nice. Um, I don't really see what the bishop, what this horse is going to do next, other than go back. Um, let's get my king to safety. So I'll try to keep a level head throughout this chaos that I'm causing. Or at least not entirely causing, because I'm partly just observer and participant to it. Um. Okay, our opponent defends their rook. Uh, this, in turn, I don't think makes things any easier for them. Oh wait, I was about to sacrifice this accidentally. That's not... Um... Alright. But yeah, if I could exchange my rook for this horse, we'd be doing not terribly. Um... Alright. Let's build up a castle. And now I threaten to bring my rook over and exchange it for this, or take a pawn. Um, they might just... I don't know what they're going to do. Why would I speculate? I've not been correct this whole game about what my opponent's doing, so why should I be accurate now? That'd be good if I could accurately predict what they're doing, but it's not easy. Alright, let's activate my rook. I'm threatening a pawn. They don't have to take this, they could just retreat and give me the pawn, because my bishop is hanging. In turn, I could sacrifice my bishop for one of these pieces and start some kind of an attack and pretend that it works. Um, and what's our next proverb, by the way? Activate idle pieces. Hey, look at what I'm doing. This rook was behind a pawn. Now it's not behind a pawn. So I've activated an idle piece. Yep. Now this horse really belongs next to the king here. It's got no business being out here like that. Um, so if I take this, knight takes, I take here. I'm threatening a knight. They can move this gold up to defend the knight. Nanafun. I could promote my rook. And I don't know what happens next. Or I could take here. Either the king or the rook takes. Probably the king takes. And I take here. But I don't have a next move in this case. Um, 
other than exchanging my dragon for a rook and then dropping a rook back here. Maybe that's not terrible. So bishop takes, maybe rook takes happens, and I take here and they do something to activate this somehow. Yes, I don't win a piece unless maybe I take this silver. This one's the one defending the king, but if I take it, it my attack doesn't go anywhere. If I take this one, I have some chance of a successful attack. Um, so let's take here. So I'm already two pawns down. What's another, like, bishop for silver? If we're already down material, let's be down a lot. In chess, that would be an absolute nightmare. In shogi, things are just complicated. Things are always complicated. You can be down crazy amounts of material and still have a fantastic initiative. And so shogi tends to be quite exciting, whereas chess... I mean, they've found ways to make chess more exciting by changing the starting position or things of that sort. But, um, yeah, this is pretty wild. All right, our opponent defends uh, the knight. Now I could go back here. All right, I don't think I can trap the knight. I don't think I can trap the horse. And bringing this knight out would be risky. So let's just continue activating my dragon. They have a pawn here, so they can't block directly. Uh, they could drop a bishop behind their own lines, but that seems a bit crazy. So instead, this is where we end up. And now I can trap their rook. So I can drop a silver next and collect it. So it's their turn to attack. Let's see what they do. They have heavily defended their king, which means at least one of us is defending our king here. Um, I should give myself a little more credit, though. But yeah, this pawn drop only feels necessary because I can't find a weakness elsewhere. They built this kind of artificial shape that everything can easily shift around to deal with whatever I choose to attack next. And had I dropped my silver to try to collect this, nothing would have come of that. I could have dropped the silver here to try to win a lance, but the silver is stuck in the corner and the king's over here. So this really seems to be the only move, other than maybe a pawn drop right there instead. Um, Go for so I could take a pawn and they're going to offer more pawns. That's their plan. If I don't take it, they take many pieces in succession. So we're going to walk right into their plan, and it's going to be OK somehow. Things have a way of working out in Shogi. What I don't know is if they're going to drop a pawn here, or if they're going to do something on this diagonal, or dropping a pawn elsewhere, or some combination of all of the above. I think regardless, though, my silver goes here next. And then they bring this knight somewhere, and it's hideous. Actually, if they drop the pawn here immediately, yeah, that's not easy to deal with. Okay. Interesting. Um, I 
That's a, well, not a free bishop, but I can win a bishop for a rook, or rather for a knight. Um, I think that's what I need to do here. What a mess. Oops, sorry. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Yeah, I wasn't able to get to auto mod immediately. Twitch recommends I use auto mod settings, but I think you got you conveyed your point uh, pretty well here. So, what was the previous comment? Because I can only see like one at a time. So, yeah, you're saying that there's a lot of drama and that this drama is a win for the chess world. I think it surfaces a topic um, about like players' rights and a players' union or whatever that hasn't surfaced in a while. Um, wait, I... strange. Okay. Something. That's a good move. Nifun Sanjubio. It doesn't save the game, but that's really clever. Alright, I think this is what I'm supposed to do here. It's still dangerous. This is really hard to read. Maybe a silver drop there was necessary, I just don't know. Also, they have a pawn drop here, which I missed. Hmm. I'm screwed. I might win on time, but the position is pretty ridiculous. I should have taken this. I'm so screwed here. Um, let's attempt to activate my idle pieces, but it's probably too late. Mm 
1分30秒Such a disaster. Eppun. Two down, one to go. Good luck. Hmm. Am I correct in remembering this is a thing? Let's find out. It's the tactic that when I do it, it never works. <laughs> Gosh darn it. Um, Alright, let's go static, Rick. Why not? Hmm. Let's go, let's go. This is totally safe. It never backfires, ever except when I play it. Alright, so we have transposed into god knows what. Um, this is exciting. So, side pawn capture. Uh, you drop a bishop. Eh, what the hell? Let's do it. Totally safe. Nothing to worry about. Nothing to fear but fear itself. Also, I might be losing. Um, but let's not worry about that. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, now what? <laughs> uh, this is a great time to make up some theory. Uh... <laughs> Here. This looks fun. I've defended this point, which is why I decided this line looked kind of fun. I really wanted to take a shot at something completely mad like this. Um, mm, sure. Okay. I take a gold. This looked too fun to pass up. Either I'm winning or losing. There is no in-between here. And I put up my bishop, and I'm threatening mate. Well, that's not even mate, because the silver covers it. 
I thought it was a mate threat. <laughs> it's not. Um, here we are. Somewhere. Okay. If they offer a rook exchange, I think I can take it and drop here. No, because the gold retreats. So I don't want to take a rook if they offer it. Um. But also, I don't know why they would offer a rook here, other than just it looks aggressive. Um, all they have is a rook and a horse. I mean, I guess this pawn is attacking as well. But in terms of some coherent, long-lasting uh, invasion, I haven't yet seen it. Um... But give it time. It'll show up somehow. Uh, I would like to attack this heavier, but I don't have a way in. Oh, I have multiple pawns, so if I could get an attack going on this diagonal, things could go very nicely. Um, so let's line up stuff on this diagonal to push this pawn, drop a pawn here and try to win the rook. That seems more possible to achieve than trying to take this down. Um, I'm not sure this pawn had to move. Okay, that moves the horse to a more a place where it can move around easier. Um, they might also be threatening to hit this twice. So maybe I want to try to defend it. Why not? Let's try one defensive move here. This does weaken a square, but I think it's fine. All right, so this is complicated. Here we go. I play the one thing that breaks up my castle, so I can try to attack their castle. This is asking for it, really. Mm -hmm. Hmm. I didn't anticipate that. Well, go Oh, okay. This is yeah. I'm playing with fire. All right, I'm gonna take here, not for the reason you think. And I'm gonna defend this and not give up this square. So. Next, maybe I'm threatening this gold. Well, then I can't drop another pawn because I've already dropped it. 
put. This really needed to be reformed because I messed up my position. So, yeah, that's sensible. Um... This looks safe, right? Totally safe. Hitting a rook, hitting a horse. What could possibly be wrong with it? I mean, yeah, there's this enormous hole right in front of my king. But they have this loose, and I could use a bishop. Okay. Interesting. Maybe I can't use a bishop. I think they needed to retreat here instead. I shouldn't have dropped... Well, maybe I should have. I don't know. But this way, this fork looks really dangerous. What's our next proverb? Take the side pawn. Yeah, that's not happening this game. Um... Sampun. It's a dip, it's a proverb for a different situation. How about take the silver? I know the proverb doesn't say take the silver. It says take the side pawn, but let's take a silver. Wow. Nifun Sanjibio. I thought I was playing with fire.
2分。1分30秒。1分。30秒。Stupid. Zero. That's not mate. I thought it was mate. Thanks. Thanks for the game. I messed up. Well played.
by my count, that makes three games. If I've counted incorrectly, that's my fault. But I think that's three. Well played. Hope we enjoyed. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.